And yes, I'm a little crazy. I put hot sauce on my salads, you better believe it. Spe specifically, spicy taco sauce, a fiery, tangy blend of pepper. I do, 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 do. I do, 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 do. How we doing, everybody? Oh my goodness. It's Saturday. And yes, I am back here in the house, not in the studio in order. Oh, there's the tea. Hold on, hold on. There it is, butter my bread. All right, and yes, uh, basically we are relaxing today, just trying to catch up on life, drink tea, stay fresh, recover from everything in this world. And okay, let me just put this back, hold on. And a shout out to, I forget his name, on Instagram, tagged me in his post how he is now drinking his tea out of a beer stein. Cheers, sir. And yes, cheers to everyone. All right, here we go. First of all, today's run, 11 miles, feeling the legs are coming around. It's very exciting. Seven minutes a mile uh, in the Skechers Max Road 4. And I talked about this last winter. Uh, as the temperatures get colder, you definitely don't want to keep your running shoes out in the garage unless the garage is really well insulated or out on the back porch, or you can obviously let them air out a little bit. But I bring them in during the colder winter months because the midsoles can become very kind of firm and hard and I think actually even break down a little quicker when they're exposed to extreme temperatures, especially in like December, January. Uh, so I have now begun to keep all of my active training running shoes inside the house in the warmer temperatures. I know it's a little extreme, but it just, I have noticed. And so if you have the shoes out in the cold, the first couple miles of your run, uh, especially in a cold winter morning, it's gonna, the, the midsole is gonna be very firm and it, it, might even, it might even feel uncomfortable through your gait cycle. So I would recommend bringing your shoes in and yes, using my, and now shoes are stinky, right? So we got our Lumi outdoor spray here, putting it in there, boom. Now that wasn't a very good spray, hold on. So this just helps keep the shoes a little more uh, fresh so they don't smell as much. It's called Lumi Outdoor Home Essentials. Uh, it's a family owned company. This is the lemon eucalyptus flavor, extra strength, and not flavor, but smell, extra strength, all day. It's an odor eliminator. It's even got some essential oils in there. So I spray my shoes uh, maybe like once or twice a week with that Lumi spray. Okay, moving on to the New York City Marathon. Uh, oh my goodness, where to begin? Okay, let me just pull up here on the computer. It's time to download the New York City Marathon app. It's pretty neat, I must say, these big city marathons that have an app dedicated just to their race. Uh, it's handy for finding information, finding your bib number, which I'm gonna share with you here in a minute. It will move you, and as that is downloading here in a minute, let me just touch upon the book. A Race Like No Other by Liz Robbins, 26.2 miles through the streets of New York. This is my first book on the New York City Marathon, and I am to the moon, beyond impressed. The amount of detail in this book, it might actually be too much for you. It's a, she goes, and so every chapter is a mile of the race. She touches upon uh, American history, which is the story of New York. Like, New York, you does, it doesn't get any more American than New York City as far as the amount of uh, culture that has arrived on these shores in New York. Okay, so American history, which I love, stories about the elite runners from the 2007 race, and then stories about just normal everyday folks who have their own inner battles and their own inner challenges in their hearts, and they're, they're, they're dedicated to the training and to racing the New York City Marathon. So, so far, I am enthralled by, I'm learning so, so much about the race. It's absolutely epic. Okay, I think the app is downloaded here. Let me just open this, find this here real quick. One second. So my bib number, my race number is 1008. So I can close this and then go to track runners there in the bottom left. And if you want, you can do tracking just like Amsterdam. I uh, type in my name and then it'll pop up. Boom, there it is. So you can add me there. Now you're probably wondering about the group run if you live in the greater New York City area. So it's the day, so I have to keep this trip much shorter because I was in Amsterdam for so long. So I don't get into town until Friday. And then Saturday, I have the task of getting to the Jacob Javits Convention Center to pick up my bib number and pick up all the, 
everything from the expo and probably meet some of you there as well. But uh, we're going to do a shakeout run, very uh, gentle, very slow, very easy, two to three miles, depending on how the legs are feeling, okay, in Central Park at 10 a.m., okay, Central Park, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, we're going to meet, Central Park is huge, as you know, we're going to meet uh, in front of a restaurant inside Central Park called Tavern on the Green. It's a famous spot, and it's actually pretty important for the New York City Marathon as well. Uh, so I will be there 10 a.m. on Saturday. Did I mention that? Saturday, so the day before the race. Uh, let me just say the date, November 2nd, Saturday, 10 a.m., Tavern on the Green, and we will do two to three miles, nice and easy. Um, I'll probably bring the uh, the banner that the, that Paul made for me over in Amsterdam, and we'll have a good old time. But pretty much right at 11, I'll need to hit the road and go to the expo uh, because then I got to get all the way back to Brooklyn because I'm staying with my aunt in Brooklyn, okay? And then I'm going to zip off to uh, Staten Island at some point. So that is the update on the New York City Marathon. It's, uh, it's you know, and so tomorrow, I think tomorrow I'm going to talk about my philosophy behind uh, training and maintaining fitness and getting as fresh as possible in, with two big marathons in two weeks. So I'm going to give you my thoughts on what I'm doing to take care of the body tomorrow. Sound good? So that's the update there on the New York City Marathon. Uh, what else? Okay, I think I'll, I'll save that for later. I'm actually going to get dinner and then we'll keep, uh, I got to get rolling out. If you're wondering why the house is so quiet on a Saturday, the boys are at a birthday party. So that's what's going on. That's what's going on. All right. Now I'm sure I'm, I'm sure I'm missing something, some of the details for New York that I just can't think of right now. Uh, I do fly out on Monday morning. So after the marathon, uh, my wave, I, I think I start about 9.40ish around there. Uh, so that means, let's hope, finishing around uh, noonish. Am I doing the math right there? So that would be amazing. And um, basically, uh, you know, the rest of the day on Sunday, uh, you know, I'll be ha if you're at the finish line is what I'm trying to say, uh, at the New York City Marathon, let's definitely, you know, say hello. I know there's going to be so many people, but um, mm, I might not have my green hat on, I just realized, because I probably won't wear it in the race unless, no, I'll put it in my drop bag, yeah. Oh, all these details, a lot of details. And New York City is way more complex than Amsterdam because you start and finish in different locations. So as far as logistics, it is beyond me, beyond me. All right, we're just, we're just getting dinner going here, folks. Oh, you know how I like my salads and my chips and salsa and just trying to put goodness into the body. And yes, I'm a little crazy. I put hot sauce on my salads, you better believe it. Specifically, spicy taco sauce, a fiery, tangy blend of peppers and spices. So I'm trying to think what other updates I have for you. For New York City, I'm gonna talk about my race strategy nah, probably on Monday or Tuesday. And because I'm a little bit of a shoe fanatic when it comes to running shoes, I always find the, sp the presenting sponsor interesting at big races and small races. Uh, for example, here in Colorado, the, the Dirty 30 50K is presented by Solomon. In Amsterdam, the Amsterdam Marathon was presented by Mizuno, which I just love uh, the fact that some companies that are maybe a little smaller than the biggest companies out there are getting their slice of the pie. And so in New York, it's New Balance. And I, you know, New Balance is a, I, I find it a little interesting because New Balance is a, you know, a Boston based company, uh, but they're the presenting sponsor of the New York City Marathon. So all of the, so I never order, uh, I never really order like t-shirts from a race uh, unless they're handing them out for free. But for New York City, I splurged just a little bit Got my mom a little a little gift as well uh, for celebrating this moment uh, for the New York City Marathon since I'm running it for her. So it'll be some New Balance gear arriving very soon, which is fun. Before I forget, um, Demore Global Running has a Strava group. So you can also follow me on Strava, but more importantly, this Demore Global Running group is listed down below in the description. And I'll try and put it at the top of the description because I realize there's a lot going on down there. Um, so therefore, I will create an event for the run on Saturday, November 2nd, 10 a.m. 
in Central Park at Tavern on the Green. Um, so I will make an event for that. Uh, and listen, I, I chose Central Park. Obviously, it's central in Manhattan. And I know there's a lot of fans out there in, in uh, the Manhattan area. Uh, but then it's not too far to the expo from there. It's about two, a little over two miles. So that's the game plan. That's the game plan, everybody. So I'll make a Strava event tonight as well. But I just absolutely love chips and salsa. I, in college, in high school, like I wasn't a big chips and salsa guy, but I think it's probably the hot, I don't know, like the salt, the sodium, the body craves it after long runs, you know, especially in the summertime. So tonight we've got our fall harvest salsa and then a habanero ghost pepper salsa, just ridiculously hot and spicy. But I like hot and spicy, you better believe it. Oh man. And of course, veggie and flaxseed tortilla chips, which sound kind of not so good. They're incredible. So my favorite chip out there. Okay, here it is. I was just thinking <clears throat> as I eat my habanero salsa, which is burning my mouth. Uh, question of the day. What is your go-to snack food as a runner? Like what, what do you really need throughout consistently throughout many of your training days as just a little snack just to hold you over till your next big meal or whatever the case may be. For me, it's chips and salsa. I also love dark chocolate, even though I know that's more of a dessert category, but that's the question of the day. Your favorite go-to snack. I can't wait to read these comments because it's like sometimes you run out of ideas of what you can be eating and there's so many options out there. It's just, you gotta stretch your limits a little bit. So thanks for hitting it up down below. Mm -mm, good, that was tasty everyone. Okay, one more update on the New York City Marathon as we wrap up the vlog. So today's vlog was a little atypical, just so you know. Uh, usually I do a little more filming, a little more excitement in the vlog, but it was just catch up and today was a life vlog. Remember what I say, life is part of running, running is part of life. So that's what we were doing today, just catching up, having a good time here, but uh, I hope I still was able to bring you a little bit of value with respect to uh, the New York City and everything that's going to be happening there, including the elite runners. Here we go. I didn't even realize. Abdi. That's right. Abdi Abdurrahman uh, of the United States, who has a PR of 208. I didn't realize that. He's an Olympian from the United States. Um, just he's he's just I've met I've met Abdi before. He's a kind of a character. He's hilarious. So Abdi. Uh, let's see, what other names? Jeffrey um, Kamwawur from Kenya. I'm not saying that right, but he has a 206 and he won in Berlin. And then we've got Jared Ward who ran 209 in Boston this year. That's right. Uh, he's, he trains, I believe, in Utah. So I'm excited about him. Oh, very excited about Lalisa Desisa of Ethiopia. He is uh, a 204. Uh, PR and then let me just scan here a little bit more okay so those are the top I would say the top runners um, and then yeah top runners okay pro women real quick is uh, Ali Kiefer oh so she's kind of emerging onto the scene here so she has a 228 to her name uh, Des is running see I didn't I didn't I didn't know any of this so Des won Boston in 2000 uh, no, how oh, recently? Well, she has a PR of 222 in Boston in 2011, but she also won Boston, I think, two years ago. Um, okay, who else? Oh my goodness. Mary uh, Katani, uh, I can never say these names right, from Kenya. And she, um, she and the new record holder in the marathon, world record holder, have battled it out for a while. Well, she has a 217 to her name, so that is very impressive. Mary Katani. 
of Kenya. So who else? Let me just make sure I'm not missing anyone. Sarah Hall. Whoa. She's had a big fall. If you've been following Sarah Hall of the United States. Oh my goodness. So there you go. That is the, those are the elites for the New York City Marathon 2019. And I'm excited to toe the line just behind them and see what we can do in New York in seven days from when you're watching this on Sunday. So, all right, we're going to close it out again. Simple vlog, simple day, but uh, there's a little more intel for you. And looking forward to your comments about snack food. You better believe it. I'm going to have a snack here in a little bit. All right, there we go. We're going to throw it back to Amsterdam just to remind us all of where we've been and hopefully where we're going, okay? So Amsterdam race, and then uh, we're gonna pick it up with a recovery vlog on the left. All right, there you go. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.